Hello and welcome to Weekend Spectrum, a program that spices up your weekend with news-breaking events in and outside the Gambia. I am Ibrahim Abalde. Coming up on the program... This is the famous buffer zone in the center of the Carnifin municipality. Designated as a recreational center, it often plays host to Malian traders selling wires which are increasingly becoming popular for their designs and quality. I am Mamoudi Jalo and welcome to this edition of Weekend Spectrum where I will take a closer look at these traders and their wires and examine the reasons why Malian batik has become so popular amongst Gambians and its impact on locally produced fabrics. Determined to succeed, a local drama group comprising budding actors tasked themselves with the responsibility of changing attitude for a better future. No accompaniment. So we believe as young people, we are the ones to make a change. We are the ones that are supposed to make a difference. And here we are today. We want to make the, 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 the difference. We look at the progress registered in the area of eye care treatment provided by two institutions spearheaded by the National Eye Care Program in the Gambia. So Johnson, experts in eye care services from the Al Bashar International Foundation in Saudi. This is a free eye services program being conducted in collaboration with the NECP, National Eye Care Program, and Africa Muslims Agency. And the son of the legendary Nigerian musician speaks to CNN about his passion for Africa. Now why does Africa have to be so bad? Why does it always have to be about war? Syria alone, um, Rwanda, Congo, Zimbabwe. Why is it all? Why can't the leaders bring Africa together? We'll be back with these stories right after this piece of music.
Well, it's been 17 years of progress and unprecedented development cutting across all sectors of the national economy. As part of our special report on the achievements registered by the Joint and Second Revolution, spearheaded by the President, His Excellency, Sir Professor Al Haji Dr. Yaya AJJ Jame, we went to the people to find out more about their reactions to the developments and demand behind the work. Sometimes historic events are usually not celebrated on the day itself. The build-up of events marking 17 years since the President, His Excellency Sir Professor Al Haji Dr. Yaya AJJ Jame, came to power is a classic example. Two months ago, the decorative lights that were installed in Banjul by President Jame as part of his 47th birthday celebration captured the minds of the residents of Banjul and many others. The capital city has been the host of the spectacular July 22nd traditional parade where the president used the occasion to address Gambians on issues of paramount interest to the nation. On the night the lights were installed, young and old walked in the streets and marveled at the sophisticated lighting system that spread from the imposing Art 22 monument, the traditional venue for the July 22nd celebrations. Banjulians are recollecting the achievements recorded by the July 22nd revolution and the man who presided over the latest developments in the city. If people see it, it's those who travel in Europe. That's the first time in the history of the Gambia. You know, President Jame, everything he is doing, it's always a surprise, and it's always something new. He loves this country, and he loves his people, and his, he wants his people to be happy. He don't only like Gambia, but he like the whole world. If you look at this, everybody is happy. President Jame don't give them biscuits or money, but because of this light in Banjul, the capital, for the first time, people are seeing something different. They see it on TVs, on DVDs. Now this is life. So what can we do to comment his efforts that he is doing something great for Gambians and this is for Gambians and the world all over, they know that he is doing things for Gambia. And for these young people, the new face of Banjul has given them hope for a better future. <laughs> These days, a lot of women prefer sporting beautiful African fabrics locally called Ganela in the Gambia. Our reporter Momodo Jalo went to the buffer zone where Malian traders are putting up an exhibition of African dresses. As we are in this report, some women are very obsessed about sporting Ganela. <laughs> 